Welcome to the reading continue analog pin values using Symbolic. Let's get this project started. In this video, we will see how to use model Symbolic. But here in this video, I don't want to use Symbolic library browser. Everything I want to show from the model canvas itself. So I just want to read analog value from that, you know, so you can just type analog. And you can see analog input automatically came up from the simulating support package for Arduino hardware. Double click on it. So this will be there. Double click on it. I want to read value from the second pin because I am going to connect Arduino pin 2 to the potentiometer. Put it to and name it whatever value comes out of analog. This range will be 0 to 1023. Now I want to convert this into 1 to 4 scale. For that, I want to use game block click on it game i want to have my multiply with whatever value coming out of the analog pin with the 256 so i can convert 1023 into four ranges whatever values between 0 to 256 will be 1 256 to 512 will be 2 and next one will be 3 and the next will be 4 so that is how i want to do but as you see this is the plain multiplication and I want to output this as an integer 32. I here I am putting floor. So whatever value between 0 to 256, after multiplying with uh, with 1 by 256, it will be represented as 0. So I want to use bias. So whatever value coming out of the gain block, I want to opt by 1. So connect this. Here I am not able to see the gain value, so make it big. You can see the gain value now. So I want to control digital output pins of the Arduino. So type digital. You can see digital output in the third one. Select it. I want to control three LEDs. So make three copies of the same block by holding control and dragging it. I want to control digital pin three, digital pin four, digital pin five. So this is just single input, but I want to have three inputs. For that, I want to use if condition. So make it if double click and double click the if block. Here you can put number of inputs. I have only one input, so I'm leaving it here. The if condition I want to compare with whenever the input is two will be the if condition, and whenever the input is three will be in one more else condition. And in another else condition, I want to put e1 equal to 4 and I want to have else condition in that I want to handle whenever e1 value is 1. What I will do is I will make it a bit bigger so that it will be nice. Now you can type it reaction. So select this and connect this one to here. So automatically this became if. Now in this I want to have To control the value using bus so put the bus creator in the bus creator i want to have total number of three signals i want to put it here make it bigger. those will be the constants similarly drag and connect everything now whenever the value is uh, two i want to represent by lighting the second led so turn off all other LEDs and connect the output to this block. Now go back one more level up. Here you can type again if action, select that. I will just reuse this instead of making it multiple times. Move this one and move these things a little bit up to make uh, line smooth. For this, I want to show value of 3. For that, you can just use first LED, second LED, and third LED will be off. Now, go back one more level up and connect to the second condition to this one. So, it became LC. Now, again, type with action. Delete this one. In this, I want to represent value of 4. For this one only the last LED will be turned on. 
and all of that LEDs will be turned off. So I am putting one for that and now connect u1 equal to 4 condition to here. It became LC. Now I can type if action. So I want to reuse the same code, but I will change the values. So move this little bit up. This one to down. But for this one, I want to show only the first LED because I am representing the value of 1. So now move this align with the other ones. Connect it. So this became else condition. But here we have around 4 outputs, but we have 3. How to do that? We can do that with the merge block. So it asks number of inputs. We have total 4. So make it 4 and expand it. So connect everything. We can make it little bit nicer by changing it and moving these things a little bit up. Or you can just leave it as is. That is up to you. If you want to make your model look neat, you can play with these things. Now it looks nice. But whatever coming out of the merge block will be a bus, not the individual signal. For that we will use bus selector. Type bus selector so it will come automatically. Now connect this. By default it has two, but when after connecting it, it inherits the other signal also. So you can click one, the third pin will also be appearing. Now make this bigger. And connect the digital output blocks to the bus. So this is how it works. But how we can know this is working fine or not? All that we will use display block. And we will simulate our model and ensure our model is working fine. Just disconnect this analog line and insert the constant in the logic. Connect this one to this and here put it value of 150 and play once. And here make it a little bit bigger. So here you can see three values 100. So the first LED will be turned on. So pin 3 will be turned on. That indicates we have value of 1. Let's say I'm putting around 900. So this will need to be represent value of 4. So it need to turn on the third LED. Here you can see 001. That represents our last LED is turned on. So this is how we can ensure our logic is working fine. In our next video, we will see how to deploy this model in the Arduino. Until then, 